what's going on and welcome back so today I'm gonna to get back on the 73 Nova I'm going to start the wiring process um, hopefully it won't be too bad to um, get the harness routed the way I want to and nice and clean so what I'm planning on doing is taking the harness I've already kind of spread it out took a lot of the loom off and uh, you know spread it out as much as I possibly could so that now I'm going to try to lay it out on the engine and kind of route it towards where I've decided to mount the PCM which I have already done so so let me show you that and you can see what I'm talking about all right so inside the fender there you can see where I've mounted the PCM that's where it's going to go the inner fender is going to go here to hide a lot of that and cover up anything else than uh, any other wiring possibly that I'll need to run to the front so basically what I'm do is set everything up here attached to the different sensors and whatnot and see about kind of laying it across and I'm gonna try to go towards the back of the engine and come across there now you will see some loom that kind of deal but is what it is um, I don't have enough room inside the car to mount the PCM so that is a no-go on that which I discussed that in my last video if you haven't checked out that video I put a link up there so you can go back and watch it but there's the PCM that's where it's gonna go it's a good spot for it I'll be able to access it fairly easily unclip it and pull it out if I ever need to so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna start hooking up sensors and whatnot and laying that wire across hopefully in the route that I need to go with it and we'll see what it ends up looking like and see how much I can get done today on getting the engine wired back up so that it can be permanently wired and I won't have to mess with it anymore so here we go let's get to it
all right so as you can tell it is quite the mess over here but i'm getting through it i've already started cutting some of the wires labeling them so i know where they go back so i can shorten them up do whatever i've got to do to neaten them up as you can see i've done that here a lot of it was the grounds i've cut the grounds loose and labeled everything and most of the other ones are the pink wires the pink wires are just all over the place so i'm going to have to go almost one by one once i'm over here but over here on the passenger side it's not looking too bad i do want to show you this i do have the crank position sensor it is installed down there and the o2 sensor i've got those tie wrap back and they are the two i don't know if you can tell they are these two covered sets of wires that run up the firewall here now i'm working on the injector part of the harness for the passenger side here i'm going to tape this up cover it up and it's going to run behind the fuel rail here so you won't notice it so much we do have one run up here this is the map sensor i believe um, so we will have one wire that runs up there but other than that as far as the passenger side it'll probably pretty much be done and then i just have to work my way and basically that's the group of wires there i've got them held up by that factory clamp um, got everything held up there and it's quite possible that up until that point and on the other side of the intake i could run a covering and those could be done i don't know we'll have to see how that goes um, but I'm going to get back to it. I just wanted to kind of show you where I was at with this. Um, I did a lot of work off camera, but we're going to get this side buttoned up, at least get everything pulled to that side so I can at least work on it and get everything cleaned up. But <clears throat> let me get back at it. Let me get this side done and uh, we'll be back. All right, so as you can see, the passenger side is nice and cleaned up and looking good. Now, like I said, I can't hide all the wires. I'm not that good at it, um, but I think it does look really neat and tidy. So that to me is good enough and looks really good. Uh, let's see, so you, as you can see, this is the wiring for the coils run back there and the wire for the fuel rails is actually kind of tucked back in here and of course i had this one wire up here to the map sensor so yeah i think it looks really good on the passenger side and no spaghetti so that's always a good thing now, i did off camera work on the driver's side so let's take a look at that and as you can see we still got a little bit of spaghetti over here but all the wire is pulled over to this area. Everything else is run. So here's the driver's side of the engine. As you can see, here's the coal wiring run through there and the fuel injection or the fuel injector wiring run here into the TPS 
and the idle control. But like I said, it's not hidden, but it is neat and tidy. It's all wrapped up in this covering, so we're good to go with that. Also did a little neatening up of the windshield washer motor for the wipers and the pump for the washer fluid. Kind of tidied up that wiring. I put some new covering on, some smaller covering. It had a larger one and it really didn't need to be that big. So, but it's gonna look good, don't worry. So this here is actually gonna be in a large covering, unfortunately, but I think once the brake master cylinder is there and a few other things, some lines for the brakes, I don't think you'll really be able to see it. It's gonna go underneath the master cylinder, I think underneath the speedometer, over and then up to the computer. So I think that'll work. I think that's gonna look good. Um, I will have to do a lot of cutting and splicing, a lot of soldering, but no big deal. Um, it's gonna take a little time. This actually didn't take as long as I thought it would today, getting all the sensors and everything kind of run and everything tidied up, at least on the engine. I think that looks pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. So there we go, there we are. Not as bad as I thought. And here's the wire goes to the alternator and the coolant temperature sensor, and this tubing here. So I think it looks pretty good. I'm satisfied with this and this is gonna work. But that is gonna do it for today. I'm kinda tired, it's getting late, it's starting to get dark, so I know it's getting late. So, but anyway, I made a lot of progress today and I'm really happy with the results. I think it looks really, really good. But more wiring to do, so stay tuned. Um, there's probably gonna be another wiring video, probably just of me buttoning it up and showing what it looks like all covered up and that kind of thing. So stay tuned for that. And But the cool thing is, is once this wiring is done and complete, you know, there's nothing that'll stop us from, you know, cranking up the engine whenever we need to and everything's already clean, nice and tidy, just in case we wanna crank it up and hear it because it sounds awesome. But anyway, progress and we are getting there and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked this video. If you did hit the like button, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we'll see you on the next one for some more wiring.